we open the month of November by remembering the dead. Those who can went to the cemeteries, lit candles, offered flowers, offered food in memory of the dead. The gift of memory is a special gift that God has given us. But as we remember and honor and pray for our dead, it is also good to be reminded, malapit na rin akong mamatay. It is good to say that to yourself as you look at the mirror. I am near death. You can look at your birthday from the point of view of zero and you will say, I am 25, I am 35, I am 45. Wow, I am so blessed. But I hope you also remember that your birthday is also a reminder for you. You are closer and closer to your death. You are closer and closer to the cemetery. And that is the reality. This afternoon, the Word of God reminds us about three things. Life, soul, death. We have only one life. We have only one soul. We have only one death. As we have only one birthday. If you have only one life, why are you wasting it? If you have only one soul, why are you risking your soul? And if you have only one death, why are you so afraid of death when death does not end? Death changes our life. Don't tell me that I have two lives. Our life here on earth and the life everlasting? No. There is only one life. That is why we Catholics say, life is not ended, life is only changed. So I have a few questions to ask you. What makes your death beautiful? What makes your death ugly? What is an ugly death? First, it is an ugly death if you die doing something wrong. If you are doing something sinful and you die, that is a very ugly death. If death catches you as you are doing something bad, as you are doing something sinful, as you are doing something illegal and immoral, that is an ugly death. Second, you die ugly when you die with enemies. You die with enemies that you have not forgiven. And you die with enemies who have not forget forgiven you. That would be very ugly. Ang pangit mamatay ng merong kang kaaway Kaaway na hindi mo pinatawad at kaaway na hindi ka pinatawad. Third ugly death is to, the, is to die without God. To die angry at God. To die denying God. To die saying, shouting, there is no God and God is dead. That would be an ugly death because soon after you will see that God is real and you will see that you were wrong in denying God. So my dear brothers and sisters, are you ready to die? Are you sure you will be alive tomorrow? Are you sure you will still be alive next month? Are you sure you will not be visited by your loved ones in the cemetery next year. You can never be sure. Ang pangit pag namatay kang gumagawa ng masama. 
ang pangit kapag namatay kang may kaaway at lalong pangit kapag namatay kang walang Diyos. You have only one life. Only one. Why are you wasting it? You cannot be given one half life. You cannot be given 75% life. You have only one life. And now I ask you about your life. What makes you happy? Money? Properties? Popularity? Winning in the elections? Friends? What makes you happy? There is only one answer. God. Because with God, you can be happy all the time. What makes you afraid? You're afraid to be forgotten. You're afraid to be accused. You're afraid to be ignored. You're afraid to be gossiped about. That is not something to fear. You know what you should be afraid of? You should be afraid of sin. And yet you are not afraid of sin. You are more afraid of what other people will say. You are afraid of what other people will say, but you are not afraid of what God will say. Be afraid of only one, to sin, because to sin is to be separated from God, and that should be our only dread. What makes you happy? Nothing, no one can make you happy, only God. Because somebody without God, money without God, properties without God, popularity without God, all of these are nothing and they will just make your life worse. Third question, where is your life going? Where are you going? There is only one answer, I am going to heaven. Biyahing langit ang biyahe ko. I am not going anywhere else. If you are really going to heaven and you plan to go to heaven, why is your bus going to hell? If you really want to go to heaven and you want to go to God, why are you riding in a car that is going to sin, that is going to hell, that is going the wrong way, that is taking the wrong direction. You have only one life. Don't waste it. What makes you happy? God. What makes you afraid? Sin. Where is your life leading? It should be only to heaven. You have only one soul. Be careful. You have only one soul. And the soul does not age. The hair can turn white or be lost. The knees can be weak. The body can get sick. But the soul, the soul is forever. And the soul has only one choice. God or the enemy of God. Everything the soul makes should be towards the light. And the light is God. You want to take care of your face? You dye your hair? You put on makeup? You want to take care of your body? You flex your muscles and diet and eat the right food? Your soul should be more beautiful than your body. Because if your body is more beautiful than your ugly soul, you're a hypocrite. You are not true. You are fake. Only one, only one life. Only one soul. Only one death. Mag-ingat. Huwag sayangin.